All right, guys, welcome back to another itch.io free to play walkthrough. Today we have Hide and Seek by Jordan Pixels. Let's see if this game is good or not. In the middle, oh, it's a text based game. Okay, cool. I like text based game. In the middle of the summer and the sun is right above your head, you and your friends are hiding, playing hide and seek in the forest behind your house. Maggie, the oldest by a few days, is counting. Three, two, one. She speeds up through counting as you and Sam, her younger sister, run into your hiding spots. Hide behind the shrubbery. You scurry behind the shrub to your right, trying to find the spot with the most foliage. Ready or not, here I come. Maggie yells. Despite your attempts, Maggie can see you see your bright clothing through the leaves. Maggie steps closer to you. Your heartbeat picks up. Tag, you're it. Maggie taps you on the shoulder and giggles. Sam comes out of out of her hiding spot behind the tree. Fluffy, you done streaming? You scared the shit out of me. God damn it. Hey, I'll be honest. Is it decapitated but... pineapple? <laughs> Everybody sub to the game table. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Later. <laughs> You stand in your in the place Maggie stood before. Cover your eyes and begin counting. Three, two, one. You open your eyes and say, ready or not, here I come. The forest was pitch black and seemed to be an entirely different forest from the one you were in before. There were no rocks and shrubs and no sight of Maggie or Sam. Call out to your friends. That's my only choice. Maggie, Sam, Maggie, Sam. You look out, look around, hoping for them to appear at any second. After a few moments, you realize that you are all alone. Well, that sucks. There's a pale white flower next to your feet. You are careful not to step on it. You look around, trying to make sense of your place in this new world. Uh, all these options suck. The west is, is a lake surrounded by egrets. What's an egret? Let's go there. You walk to a nearby lake. It is breezy and shiver goes down your spine. Look around. You see an islet, an islet in the lake. It is co mostly covered in foliage. Egrets rest there between flights. Oh, it's a bird. Okay. Oh, that's all there is? Okay. Let's go to the sunflowers. The sunflowers are rustling against the wind as if something is moving between the stalks. You walk until the sunflower are towering over your head. After a few more moments, you hear singing in the distance. All the singing. You try to follow the sound of the voice. Go left. The sound is louder and closer than before. Go left again. The singing sounds farther away. You should go back to where you started. Go left. Go right. Let's do it all night. You're getting closer to the source of the singing. Go right. Dang it. Go left. Go right. Go left. You find the singer. It is a little girl who is less than half the height of the sunflowers. She does not seem to realize you are there. Talk to the little girl. <laughs> you found me. The little girl twirls around, whacking the sunflower stalks with her outstretched arms. I've been waiting for someone to come by. She runs to you. Answer my riddle, but beware. There's only one correct answer, and there are millions of answers to give. Which one is correct? She giggles. Here's my riddle. I hold and am held. I can hold what you hold in, inside you, but don't forget, if you hurt me, I can't. I can hurt you just the same. What am I? Bring the, me this thing, and you will get something in return. Heart is a heart. I'm hold and I'm held, and I don't freaking know. I'm assuming it's a heart. You walk closer to the hut and see that it has no front door. The porch has swings and the chairs that creak in the wind. Enter the hut. The hut is just large enough to fit a desk, a single bed, and a small closet. Look under the bed. You crouch beside the bed and look underneath it. You see a layer of dust, bunnies, and cardboard boxes. One box is labeled Janet. Another is labeled Kitchen. And another is labeled Trash. You decide not to be that nosy. Look on the desk. Desk is clear, except for a sheet of paper, the contents of which are too scribbled out to read. All that you can make out is Dear Janet at the top, and Forgive Me at the bottom. You hope the person is feeling better now that than they were when they wrote this letter. Look in the closet. 
At top of the closet, there is a fleece blanket, an empty bottle, and a cardboard box. Look in the cardboard box. Cardboard box is empty except for a spider and its web, filled with web wrapped flies and nails. Look at the fleece blanket. The fleece blanket has tiny holes and dead moss scattered across the surface. It startles you, so you shove it back in the closet. Look at the empty bottle. The bottle is empty, but has white film on the inside. It smells like a bit like sour milk. You store it in your backpack. Huh. Why did I take that of all things? Leave the hut. You go back to where you started. The farmhouse. You find a farmhouse with a small chimney, smoking chimney. There are a few plots of crops in the fields. As far as you can tell, there is no one around to knock on the door. You knock on the door. No one answers, but a rabbit nearby hops toward you. Howdy, what can I do for you on this fine day? Pause it for a moment. Say, are you one of them far hands? Come back with some overalls. And we can get you started here in a jiffy. Wait, so I need overalls? That's left, right, left, correct? Give the bottle. Wait. The girl laughs and says, No, that's not. Wait. She holds her hand, head in her hands. The answer is jar. But a bottle isn't wrong either. She slumps her shoulders and disappears behind the sunflowers for a few moments. She eventually walks out holding a rubber duck floaty. Here's your prize. She places the floaty on the ground in front of you. I'm off to think of a riddle that really only has one answer. You put the full floaty around your waist. But now we can go into the lake. Look around. Float to the islet. Open the, you float to the islet. Climb out the water and see a wooden chest sitting in the eyelet center. Open the chest. Inside the chest, you find a warm pair of overalls. They look a bit big for you, but you wear them anyways. Let's go talk to the rabbit. This is kind of neat. I like this. Got them overalls yet? The rabbit leans against the fence, chewing on a carrot. Yes. Great. Let's get to it then, the rabbit says. He guides you to the crops. You water the last crop in the field, sweat dripping down your back. You hobble over the in the giant overalls you found at the lake. You eventually make your way to the rabbit. Good job, kiddo. Thanks for the hard work and helping me fend off all the future intruders. I figure you'll be living on the moral side of society from now on, huh? It's all in a day's work of being a rabbit rancher. He tips the straw hat. It ain't easy, but it's honest work. After a few moments of silence, something seems to click in the rabbit's mind. Well, I don't feel right sending you off with a little, without a little something. What can I say? I'm a sucker for gift giving. He ha gives, hands you an intricate white key that looks like it would open the door of an elegant castle. You don't recall seeing anything like that around here. What's this for? It's just a token of my thanks. I can't give you anything too useful. We... Scroll? How do I scroll? Uh, scroll. Click. What? Whoa! No! Not like this. Please. Please. I can't. Scroll down. I want, oh please, come on. Got to be a way to scroll. More information, somebody help. There's no way to scroll this. There is literally no way to scroll this at all. God! It's too long for the page. I could try restarting. Let's see what happens.
<laughs> There's some text down there. I just can't scroll, dude. There's no way to scroll. Oh! Maybe if I doubt. There's gotta be something. Gotta be something. Alright, guys. I think that's about it for that game. Um, I don't think. I. I'm just gonna call the video here, and I'm hoping the creator will, will like. Either see how I'm messing up and like tell me how to scroll down eventually, and I can add it, like make a new part or something, because I really want to know what happened. But yeah, that was uh, what was it called? Uh, hide and seek. That's what it was called. Man, I'm gonna find a different game. I want to find a full game. That sucks. Uh, it had me really interested on in what was gonna happen though. I was like super stoked. I was like, oh, this is awesome. And then. Stuff happened, the usual. For this is gonna like destroy my eardrums for some reason. I just have that feeling. How did I know? That is so toxic. What is this? Oh, is that Spongebob? What's up, dog? That... What's up, fam? Is he moving at me? Or am I supposed to be moving at him? I'm like, what's up, dog? What are you doing? Oh, he's definitely moving at me. Am I supposed to run from him? Like, what? I'm gonna touch it. Fuck it. I'm beating his ass. Get it, son. Ha-ha! I'm on to you now, sucker. I know you're scared of me. Music's toxic. No, no! <laughs> That's toxic, dog. Oh, my God. it. No way. Stop running from me, you... Hmm. Wuss. God, he keeps running. I'm gonna trap him in the corner and we'll beat him. I don't know why there's this black screen in the middle. I don't know what that's supposed to do. Oh, I got your quarter now, son. What's up? That it? Is that it? Is that all we we're supposed to do? Oh. Oh my God. Let's run to the other end of the map, but there's nothing, we're done, I guess. Goodness gracious. I guess I'll just jump off the map. The sound clip is so uh, oh, yeah. oh, baby. to reach the end eventually. We found it. Hooray. Let's jump off, I guess. Hail. Uh. 
Oh my god. What does the description say? Okay. I ran spongebob.exe and the program loaded and it was set into users blah blah blah. So I changed it back. It would still load. But when I clicked start it wouldn't launch. It would always launch the program spbob. But then I clicked it. Click exit. If I click the OK, I get user. I've got the close program window, but the question is, should I do this? I think I did the, do the right things when I tried to use SpongeBob. I started to show up as SpongeBob. It started to show up as SpongeBob. When I click start, it wouldn't launch. It starts asking me to add my phone number. It asked me to create a new account, and when I entered it in the confirmation page, it asked why the account wasn't already in the computer. So I don't know if it's only doing that because there is no create button yet. I thought I had deleted it as the account I was trying to create is not there on my computer. I also don't find any create button for it because, well, since it's error, message not found. That was wonderful, I guess. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. All right. Hopefully we find some better games tomorrow. Uh, the first one I actually liked. That second one sucked. That was awful. The first one I actually liked. I just wish I could have got to the end of it. Hopefully it's something on my end that they can tell me what I did wrong or they fix it or whatever happened. But thanks for watching as always, guys. If you like videos like these or if you like game this channel or just like me as a person, please like and subscribe. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Or if you don't like me as a person, <laughs> I don't know. I'll talk to y'all later.